everyone this is charu legal intern at lexis and company this video is about vicarious liability under tort law vicarious liability is a situation in which one party is held partly responsible for the unlawful acts of a third party the third party also carries his or her own share of liability but vicarious liability can arise in situations where one party is supposed to be responsible for and have control over a third party and is negligent in carrying out that responsibility and exercising that control for example an employer can be held liable for the unlawful actions of an employee such as harassment or discrimination in the workplace an employer might also be held liable if an employee operates equipment or machinery in a negligent or inappropriate way that results in damages to property or personal injury here a maxim called qui facet per alium facet per se plays an important role it means that whenever a person gets something done by another person then the person is viewed to be doing such an act himself for instance if a is the owner of many trucks and employs drivers to drive them for the purpose of trade and in case one of his drivers gets into an accident because of his rash driving then even though a did not drive the truck himself he will be liable for the accident now let's get into the types of vicarious liability so there are two types and they are principal and parental liability principal liability is when a person allows another person to use his vehicle to perform a task for the owner and while doing the task the person causes damages or injury through negligence in this case the owner is liable for the damages through vicarious liability for example a has a recent surgery and was on complete bed rest he asked b to complete his insurance work by sending the papers to the company a lends his car to b during the drive b had an accident because of recklessness in the case a is liable for b's accident in parental liability when a child creates damage by taking advantage of the situation created by their parents the parents are liable for the damages the situations can be allowing a child to drive or leaving a loaded weapon in a child's reach in the lack of parental supervision the parents are vicariously liable for their child's negligence for example a is the mother of a 10 year old child b while performing the daily chores she was not able to keep an eye on b and b damaged the car of his neighbor c in this case a is vicariously liable for b's actions as b is the son of a and she has to keep an eye on b's actions let me explain a case law for better understanding of the concept in the case of state of rajasthan versus vidyavati the facts were that a person named lokmal was employed by the state of rajasthan as a temporary driver for a government car after the completion of the repairs for car during his return from the workshop he knocked down a citizen named jagdish lal jagdish lal was severely injured and he died subsequently the plaintiff's wife has named vidyavati and her minor daughter through her mother as next friend sued lokmal and the state of rajasthan for the relief supreme court held that the state was liable to pay the damages incurred as the act of driver and not as a sovereign function under vicarious liability a person can be held liable for the torts committed by another person if that person shares a few relationship like master servant relationship with him the servant does the act on behalf of his master and therefore the law of torts provide that any wrongful act which is done in the course of employment by the servant is bound to make the master liable for it there have been many several tests for determining the relation of master and servant and the court also applies its discretion according to the facts of the case to determine such a relationship so these are the basic stuff about vicarious liability under tort law but in the next video we'll know about the relationship under vicarious liability difference between them and a few more case laws stay tuned and don't forget to like the video comment your feedbacks and subscribe to lexclick for more legal stuff